Hello there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni. Today I'm going to be searching for all the treasure chests outside that we can find. Now there's a total of a hundred. Yes, a hundred. So it's gonna be a little while. However, they're all outside. That could be a good or a bad thing. <laughs> it just depends on how you view it. So, let's get started. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, whether I do continuous commentary over this and just do it like I am right now, or I do other things. Ooh, two salted ice cream. See, it, it is worth it to get these because, for one, I, I believe that the rewards are set, but, I mean, they're pretty good. I mean, two salted ice cream, so those are pretty annoying to get because you need if you want to make them you need booster shoots and some other stuff that you might not normally have so that's one reason I like doing this plus once we get into some of the other areas where the enemies are a bit stronger oh those are that's more down there so I'll, I'll get that but it, once the enemies are more stronger I'll be fighting them probably and then I will be um, getting those familiars that I really need to level up where they need to be. Alright. So, it already wore off, but that's that's no big deal. That That's going to happen. Alright. Alright, so the next one's down here somewhere. Like, right about here. Oh, pointy hat. Alright. Alright, let's activate it again. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit long and tedious, but this is mainly for the completion. So, let's see. Where's the next few that I want to get to? Um, I guess I could go to... Ah, I'll go to Old Smokey really quick. They won't appear when you're on Tangri, but your spell will still be there um, once you get off of Tangri. So, just thought I'd point that out if in case you were confused. And there's one around here, and then there's one closer to the entrance. And it is right here. Ooh, another burning blade. Now, um... When you don't have the chart chests... Is that what this is called? No, this is Seek Fortune. If you don't have Seek Fortune on, then it'll be damn near impossible to tell if you're near the box or not, because... If I'm correct, then it won't, like, give you a notification to, um, actually get it like that. So, yeah. So we're already done with old Smokey. Oh, here we are. So that's five out of a hundred. Ah. Like I said, this will take some time, so be a bit patient. Um, if this takes too long, then I will just uh, make it more of a montage sort of thing. But again, it's so worth it to do this. I mean, so many good items to get. I mean, it just... Oh, yes. And here is a sturdy shin bone. That, that's okay. Because that's another foraging item, but that's used to make pie on the bone, which is one of the best pies in the game. So, YOLO. One thing I want to do, actually, I've faced that guy already. I haven't actually faced all of these already. Um, okay. I'm just gonna land somewhere near Alma Moon, and then, um, then just use the chart chest again. I keep calling it chart chest, but it's Seek Fortune. I'm sorry. Again, though, seriously, it's so worth it. Cause I mean, I got a burning blade. I could have saved some money. I mean, there's no telling what I'll find. Cause I honestly don't know. It's been a long time since I've gotten the treasure chests. But, again, I can't reiterate it enough. It's so worth it. 
100 guilders. Okay, maybe that wasn't. Alright, there's one by Alma Moon. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make it sort of sped up from here on out. So, yeah, thanks for watching this part, and I'll see you guys when I'm done.
And we have gotten the final treasure chest. And I haven't explored this place yet, so I guess I can show off some of the enemies around here. We can do this. See? There's all of them. We got the treasure hunter trophy. And yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. A lot of them really weren't worth it. So what's the point of oh sweet. So what's the point of doing it? Well, a lot of them may not have been worth it, but there were some that were extremely good. I mean, all of those, ah, uh, what are they called? Those treats? I mean, those aren't the most common things in the world. Um, you either have to make them yourself or find them from enemies or what have you. So, many of the things made it worth it. And I'm glad I did it. Because I actually never did that on my full file. So, let's just see. Let's just have a little recap. Um, we got some of those items, but they really aren't that good for sword users. Um, I did get a bee sting and a royal... Well, actually, it was just a bee sting. It's a decent. It's better than the lightning bolt, that's for sure. For those who can't use the dragon lance, because there's so many that, are, that need it. In fact, I'll just give you the beasting. Plus, it can poison an enemy. And then, then the white stag's antler. <clears throat> That's really good. Such, such a high boost. I'm definitely giving that to Wambo. And then, you don't really need anything. Um, I, did I get a new cloak? I got a couple new cloaks. Whoa. Whoa. It may lower the defense a lot, but that evasion man so in fact oh my god <laughs> all right i mean so much good stuff and a few sets of armor i believe i did all right plus a lot of the items that we got are ingredients so that's another good thing about it. in fact let's see if i can make anything now um, we can make a Sage of Secret. Not going to do that right away. Um, still am not able to make any of those, but I'm not too concerned. Um, I actually got a Jumbo Star Drop, so I'm going to use that right now on Gordon. So, so we have this one. We need the Wispula. So, this is the one. And then, all we gotta do is level up the Sharpie Parper a little bit more. And then I'll be good to go with that quest. So, that'll be awesome. Let's see. And the cut and Cosmo Chris. I mean, look at all this chocolate. 17 bars of milk chocolate? That That's really good. To have that many of the second thing. I mean, look at this. There's so... It, it really is worth it if you take the time to do it. Um, in fact, I will give him snowdrop bonbons to increase his attack a little bit more plus his familiarity um, because I can make the snowdrop bonbons with chocolate bonbons and um, what's it called and a like snowflake thing so you know it it really was worth it in my opinion so yeah um, let me just fight Anyways, I just want to fight this form of the Hierophant really quick, just to see, because it's a Psycho Font. We actually didn't, we actually haven't seen this enemy yet, so, yeah. I believe the Hierophant might actually be one of the evolved forms of this. That, that would make sense. So, yeah, that was pretty successful. Hopefully it didn't take too long. Um, took... At least an hour in real Our time. bravery is justly rewarded. So, I'm going to end off the part here. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.